In this video, we are going to discuss about the number line and basic concepts related to it. So we have already seen regarding the counting in number system getting started video that how the number flows 0 1 2 so here we start from 0 and then on the right there is 1 then 2 then 3 so for 1 2 is the next number for this one 2 is the next number and it is called successor for 1 so the next number is called successor so for 2 the successor is 3 and for 3 the successor is 4 now 3 is a successor for 2 so that means 2 comes before 3 so 2 is coming before 3 so the number which comes just before a number is called predecessor it's called predecessor like 1 is the successor of 0 and 0 is the predecessor for 1 because it is coming just before it now we'll see regarding different types of numbers so first we'll see about natural numbers natural numbers So natural number as the name suggests they occur naturally or they are the ones which are used for counting we can say we cannot count zero since it means there is nothing in it so the number starting from one two three and so on incrementing one at a time are called natural numbers so these numbers starting from one two three are called natural numbers and whole numbers the whole numbers start from 0 and then incrementing one at a time. So the whole numbers start from 0. So it means that whole numbers are natural numbers plus whole numbers include natural numbers plus 0 also they include. Next is integers. So integers include natural numbers 0 and negative numbers like minus 1 minus 2 and so on so from 1 onwards they are called positive integers and from minus 1 backward they are called negative integers and there is 0 it is integer but it is neither negative nor positive so in this context we can say whole numbers can be defined as non negative integers these whole numbers can be de can be defined as non-negative integers since 0 is neither negative nor positive it is included in whole numbers we have to keep one thing in mind that anything between 2 and 3 or 3 and 4 and like others is not integer whole number or natural number because they do not include any fractional or decimal part like anything between 1 or 1 and 2 like 1.5 is not whole number natural number or integer we'll discuss regarding these later but as of now we just have to keep in mind that the numbers incrementing one at a time or decreasing one at a time are included in integers and for natural numbers and whole numbers they are incrementing one at a time so we have to keep this thing in mind so this is the depiction of what we have studied just right now that natural numbers start from 1 and goes on on the number line on the right side whole numbers start from 0 and it includes 1 2 3 4 thereafter the integers include the po positive integers that is 1 2 3 4 and so on it also includes 0 and negative integer minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 these are called negative integers and these are called positive integers so integers are basically whole numbers plus the negative numbers and whole numbers we can call as non-negative integers so now just see the ordering of integers we'll see the ordering of integers so we have seen that in counting we start from 0 
and we go on one step at a time this one step at a time after zero comes one and then two and so on so three is coming after two that is one step after two so this three is greater than two so similarly four four is greater than three and two so we see that a particular number is greater this particular number is greater than the number which are on the left side to it so anything on the left side of this number this number is greater than these numbers but it is smaller than the numbers on its right side so example 5 is greater than 4 3 the numbers which are on its left side and it is smaller than the number which are on the right side <coughs> that is 6 7 so similarly for the negative integers this minus 2 is greater than the numbers on the left side that is minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so this minus 2 is greater than these numbers but smaller than minus 1 so in the negative integers the order is opposite this 2 is greater than 3 and 4 but it, we are talking for the negative integers like minus 2 is greater than minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and this is how we move on on the number line one step at a time now we'll see addition on number line so before starting any operation will be at 0 initially will be at 0 now let us see this summation the first thing is it is saying that there is 3 so 3 means if there's no sign to a number that means it is positive so for positive we move in the we move on the right side in this direction so how many steps we have to move we have to move 3 so let us come at this place so it is 3 so we have reached 3 when we say this these many steps now we have to add add means again in the positive direction that is on the right side we have to move and how many steps we have to move we have to move four steps and we have reached over here after we move three steps now we have to move four steps from over here because we have to add on this so one two three four so we finally reached at seven so initially we move three steps on the right side because there is no sign to it no sign means it is positive number for positive we move on the right side and again add add is again positive so this means again we have to move on the right side from 3 because we have already reached till 3 and how many steps we have to move 4 steps from 3 so 4 step we move from 3 we reached at 7 so 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 so now there is 5 plus 1 so again we will start from 0 because initially we are at 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 so we move 5 steps because 5 is given now we have to add add means again on the right uh, direct in the right direction we have to move and how many steps we have to move we have to move just one step so after 5 we have to move one step and we come at 6 so 5 plus 1 becomes 6 so this is how addition takes place now the next is minus 8 minus 8 means on the left side on the we have to move on the left side from where initially we are at 0 of any operation we, we are starting a new operation so we are at 0 now we have to move on the left side minus 8 means 8 steps we have to move on the left side minus indicate the sign indicates on which side we have to move so we'll move from over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we reached at minus 8 point now we have to add add means on the in the right direction we have to move and how many steps we have to move we have to move three steps so from 8 minus 8 we have to move three steps so we'll move three steps from over here 1 2 3 so we move three steps and we reached at minus 5 so minus 8 plus 3 becomes minus 5 so this is how addition takes place 
now let us see the next one minus 4 this is again we have to move on the left side from 0 because initially we are at 0 so we'll move from 0 how many steps 4 steps 1 2 3 4 so the sign negative indicates we have to move on the left side and how many steps 4 steps so we reach that minus 4 now we have to add add means in the on the right direction we have to add but there is a negative sign how many steps we have to add minus 2 so again minus indicates we have to move in this direction on the left side we have to move so we were earlier moving on the right side or if no sign is given we, have, we usually move on right side but because negative is there so we changed our direction on this side so we have to move on the left side now how many steps two steps one two so we reached that minus six so we reached that minus six so answer is minus six now we'll see the next one there is three so that means it is positive three so we'll move three steps from zero one two three so we reached that three now plus we have to move that is on the right side but negative sign is there negative 3 so in the opposite direction negative means on the left side so we'll move on the left side how many step 3 step from 3 1 1 2 3 so we reach that 0 so 3 plus minus 3 becomes 0 and here comes the concept of additive inverse additive inverse of a number is a number that when added to it yields 0 so any number when added to another number yields 0 so that means it is additive inverse of that number so for 2 additive inverse is minus 2 because 2 plus minus 2 would give 0 so for minus 5 if we add 5 in it it will give 0 so for minus 5 plus 5 is the additive inverse now we move on the subtraction on the number line now we'll see subtraction so subtraction means removing a number from another so it means we are removing a number from the another number so for addition there was positive sign for addition there was positive sign so for subtraction there is minus sign so this sign is called minus sign as we can see over here and this is used for the subtraction so for removing for addition we move on the right side of the number line we move on the right side in the number line for subtraction we move on the left side because we are removing so we are moving on the left side in the opposite direction so this is a concept now we'll see the subtraction so first first it says 5 so initially we are at 0 now we have to move 5 steps and since there is no sign it is treated as positive so we'll move on the right side 1 2 3 4 5 so we reach that this 5 on the number line now we have to minus that is subtract that is remove from this how many steps we have to remove four steps so that is we move in the opposite direction 1 2 3 4 so after removing four steps we reached at 1 so the answer is 5 minus 4 becomes 1 it is equal to 1 so now let us see the next one it is 3 minus 6 so first we'll see we'll move three steps on the number line so since nothing is given we'll move on the right side so 1 2 3 because there was no sign on the 3 so it is treated as positive so we'll move on the right side and we reached at 3 now we have to minus subtract 6 out of it so we have to remove from this 6 steps or we can say we have to move on the left side to it now we'll move on the left side so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so after moving 6 steps on the left side that is removing 6 from 3 we reach that minus 3 so the answer is minus 3 
so now we'll see the next one minus 2 so it is clearly given over here that this is minus 2 so from 0 first we have to move on the left side one step second step so we reach that minus 2 now we have to remove that is again we have to take out from this that is subtract how many steps three steps so for subtracting we'll move on the left side from this because we are already at this place so we'll move on the left side how many steps three steps so one two three so after removing or moving uh, on the left side three steps we reached at minus five so the answer for this is minus five so now we'll see the next one so here it says minus four so initially we have to move four steps on the left side from zero one two three four now there is a negative sign so that means we have to subtract that means we have to move on the left side to it so we are moving on the left side to it now how many steps we have to move again there is a minus sign minus one one step but minus so minus means remove and on the left side but we are already moving on the left side because there is a negative sign to it so minus sign again indicates we have to change the direction because initially when nothing is given we usually move on the right side on the number line so when negative sign comes we change the direction so we move on the left side so but we are already moving on the left side in this case because there is a negative sign that there is a minus sign over here so when we are already moving on the left side it says minus one so when another minus sign come we have to change the direction so we have to move on the right side now and how many steps one step so from minus four we have reached till minus four over here so we move one step on the right side so we reach minus three so this minus four minus minus one becomes minus three so this means when there is already negative sign or minus sign or we can say when we are already moving on the left side when again a negative sign comes so we have to change the direction so two negative sign becomes positive because we then we move on the right side because after reaching at minus 4 we move on the we moved on the right side on the number line and we reached on minus 3 so two negative sign means they together become positive so this is a concept of subtraction now we'll see multiplica multiplication on number line so this is a number line and multiplication means we increase a particular thing so many numbers of time that it is specified so suppose i have this round figure we, i multiply this four number of times so that means i increase this to four number of times so one two three four so multiplication means i'm increasing a particular thing so many number of time so now let us see through concept what it actually means so three into four so first there is a three so that means we are initially at zero so i move three steps one two three in the right direction because since nothing is specified we treat it as positive so we move in the right direction now we multiply this so these many steps that is three steps we multiply four number of times because three multiply four is given so this is one time we have done now we'll do one two three so this is the second time we have done so but we have to increase it one two more time one two three so again we have done this but this is the third time so after doing it for the first time we reached at 3 for the second time when we did we reached till 6 after third time we again did we reached till 9 and after 9 we have to do one more time because we have to multiply 3 that is 3 steps 4 number of time so after 3 the uh, till now we have done till 3 number of times so from 9 we'll move again 3 more steps 1 2 3 so we move three steps more and we reach till 12 so what we did is this specifies this number specifies three steps 
and these three steps we have to multiply four means we, uh, three multiply four that is we have to do four number of times so four in number of time so first we did three steps we reached till three so from three we'll start the second second time this so after doing for second time we reached till six so from six we again did for the third time because we have to multiply that is we have to do this number of times so that means we are adding after doing first step we are adding for the second step and after doing second steps we are adding in it so we move from six not from zero we move from six when we did third time and we reached till nine and after reaching till nine then we again did for the fourth time that is last time because we have to multiply this four number of time so we reached till 12 so 3 multiplied 4 gives 12 as an answer so this we have seen on the number line so now the next is 5 multiplied 2 so first we'll move 5 steps on the number line 1 2 3 4 5 so we started from 0 because initially we are at 0 and since no sign is given so that means positive so we'll move on the right direction so five steps we have moved now we have to multiply that is we have to repeat this two times so this we have done just once and we have to do one more time so after reaching from over here we'll start again second time so five to six one step second step third fourth fifth step so five steps after repeating for one time we reach till five and after repeating second time we reach till ten so 5 multiplied 2 gives 10 as an answer. So this is how multiplication happens. Now we'll see how does multiplication happens in respect of negative integers. So let us start. So first it is given that there is 3. So we'll take 3 steps from 0. So we'll do step by step. So initially it is given 3. So that means in the right direction we have to move one two three so we move till uh, we move three steps and we reach till three now it says we have to multiply that means we have to repeat this how many times minus three times so that means we have to repeat this three times and minus sign indicates minus sign we have already seen that minus sign indicates we have to change the direction if we are moving in this direction so we have to change this direction to this that is we have to do this step on the left side so from where we have to do we'll start from again zero and we have to do these these three steps on the left side from zero one two three so this we did this we did and this is the first time we have done so this is once we have done but we have to repeat it three times second time three steps so we reach till minus six and from here third time one two three so third time we did three steps and we reached till minus nine so what we did is we did three steps one two three steps these many three steps three times we did but on the left hand side because there was one negative sign over here so starting from zero we did three steps three times these many steps three times on the left hand side so this is how multiplication happens now we'll see the multiplication case of when the both the uh, integers are negative so this is minus four so we'll see so that means we have to move on the left side one two three four so we reach till four so these many steps so that means we have to repeat these many steps how many times two times we have to repeat two times these many steps but in the opposite direction this again negative earlier we were moving in the moving on the left hand side because there was minus four because four has a minus sign so we were moving on the left side now again we have to reverse the direction because this two again has minus sign so there is negative two so since there is negative sign over here with 2 we have to change the direction so we have to change from 
left to right so right side again we'll start from zero and we do these four steps twice one two three four these four steps we reach till four when we did once and we'll have to do again one two three four so this is second time we have done four into two and we reach till eight so earlier when we did 3 into minus 3, the answer was minus 9. And now, when we did minus 4 into 2, the answer is we reached till 8. So, the answer is 8. So, this is how multiplication happens in case of negative integers. Now, we'll see what is the difference between addition and multiplication of more than two numbers. When more than two numbers are involved, what is the difference between them? We won't see subtraction over here because subtraction is similar to addition. So whatever is valid for addition is valid for subtraction also. So now let us see this example. Initially we'll take this one. So there is a 2. We'll go step by step over here from first this, then this, then this, this, this. So initially we see 2 over here. So we know that we start from 0 on the number line. And since no sign is there, so that means we have to move on the right side on the number line. And how many steps? Two steps we have to move from 0, 1, 2. So after moving two steps, we reach till 2. Now we have to add. So that means we have to move on the right side. Now how many steps we have to move on the right side? Minus 3 it says. So minus or subtraction we can say. This sign indicates we have to change the direction. This sign indicates we have to change the direction. So we were moving on this side. So we have to change the direction to this side. That is now we have to move on the left side. How many steps? Three steps. And we have to start from two. We reach till two over here. Now we start from two. So one step, two step, three step. So after moving three steps on the opposite direction because there was minus three, we reach till minus one. So till here we reach till minus 1. Now we again have to add in this. So add means we will move in this direction on the right side. How many steps we have to move? We have to move minus 2 steps. So minus sign again indicates we have to move in the opposite direction that is this. On the left side we will move. How many steps we will move? We will move 2 steps. So from minus 1 we will move 1 step, 2 steps. So we'll cover two steps and from minus one, we'll cover one and two. So we reached till minus three and we moved in the left direction because there was minus sign. So we reached till minus three and it ends over here. So since it ends over here and we have moved till minus three, so the answer is minus three of this. So what we find is in addition or we can say in subtraction also, we First we do, we go step by step. We did this in whatever position we reach from over here, we start for this one. We For this step, we move from this position to this. And again this for this step, we start from this. So till whatever position we have moved in the initial stage, we start from that position. We started from 2 and then from minus 1 and we finally reach till minus 3. So now let us see how does multiplication happens. So in multiplication again we will move two steps from 0 since it is positive 2. Since nothing is mentioned so we will treat it as positive. So 1, 2. So we reach till over here. So we reach till 2. Now multiplication. So means multiplication means in this step, we have not reached over here. We did two steps. So that means we'll take these two steps, one, two, separately from this. Because in multiplication, at each step, we don't reach at this place. But these many steps we have to move. In which direction and how many times we have to move, it will be told by this. Since this is minus three, so that means we have to move in negative direction so that means we have to move on the lights right uh, left side and how many times we have to move till we have to move three times so these two steps so one two so this is once 
one two this is twice so one two so this is three times we have moved this is third time second time and this is first time so we reach till minus six so again there is a multiplication sign so that means we have not reached till over here when there is a multiplication sign so that means we have to move these many steps so if if the equation ended over here if suppose this was not there then answer would have been minus 6 but since again we have this multiplication over here multiplication means that whatever we covered in the initial step whatever we covered in this steps we have to move these many steps a number of time so whatever position we reached over here this is not the position we have reached but these many steps we have to do these many number of times so we'll see so these are the steps so in this we covered six steps in the negative direction so in on left hand side we covered six steps now it says multiply these with minus two minus means in the right side so we have to change the direction minus means we have to change the direction so earlier we were moving on the left side so we have to change the direction and we have to move from we have to move on the right side we have to move on the right side how many times two times so these six steps we have to perform twice and so we'll again start from zero because there's a multiplication sign so this is these many steps we have to do we'll again we'll again start from zero and we'll repeat these many steps so one two three four five six this is once we have done and one two three four five six so suppose there is 11 and 12 over here so we reach till 12 so till where till we reach we reach till 12 so the answer for this so the multiplication stops over here there is nothing more after minus 2 so the answer for this is 12 so in addition what we saw is in, a, in addition we saw that till whatever steps we reach like we perform this step this particular step we perform and till the place we reach in this step we move from this place for performing these many steps and till whatever place we reach after performing this step we move from that particular place to perform these many steps but in multiplication we again start from zero if there's a multiply sign comes we start from zero first we do two steps so we did these two steps in the negative direction and or we can say in the on the left hand side three number of times so we move till minus six after this two into minus three but we again did this minus six steps on the right side because we changed the direction we do we did six steps on the right side because there was a minus sign and we did it twice because it was multiplied by minus 2. So we did these 12 steps on the right side and we started from 0. So in the multiplication case, we start from 0 whenever multiply sign comes and we perform the functions. So this is how multiplication happens and addition happens in the case of more than two numbers. Now we'll see division. So division in the basic sense it means suppose we have a stick and we have to divide it into two equal parts. So we'll break it from over here, break it off from over here and we get these two equal parts. And if suppose we have to divide it into three equal parts, so we'll break it somewhere over here and somewhere over here. So we get these three parts which are equal. So this is the basic concept of division. Now let us see the division of numbers with the help of number line. So now first take this example so it says four so that means we have to move four steps and we have to move in the uh, on the right side since no sign is there so that means it's positive so one step two step three step four steps so now there are four steps one two three four now we have to divide this divide this is a division sign this sign is for division we have to divide this into two parts so that means two equal parts we have to divide it 
so now let us start from over here and over here and divide this now let us move one step from over here we reach over here and from over here, over here also we'll move one step and we reached over here now move one step again from this side from the left side we reached at this place and from this when we move one more step we again reached the same place so from the both side right and left we reached at this place in two steps so that means two steps are over here and two steps are over here and both of them are equal in number so that means what we get answer is when we divide 4 by 2 we get 2 as an answer and we get we get two steps equally on both the sides so this and this so how many step there are there are two steps so that means the answer is two or we can say one step and two step from zero we start one two so the answer is two when we divide four by two now let us see the next example so next example says minus six so that means six steps on the left side one two three four five six so these many steps on the left side of the number line from zero and we divide it into three equal parts so one two three four five six so these six steps we have to divide it into three portions so now let us see so let us put three equal buckets now this step will put over here this step will put over here this one two three four five six these are six steps so first step we put in this bucket second step in this bucket third step in this bucket so these many steps are consumed now fourth step again we'll put in this bucket fifth step in this bucket and sixth step in this bucket so we took three buckets we cause we have to divide this six minus six steps into three three portions equally so these three buckets and how many steps do each bucket got we consume all the six steps we utilize all the six steps and we got two steps over here two steps over here and two steps over here so the answer is each bucket got two steps and on which side did they got these two steps were on the left side of the portion because earlier it was minus six so one step two step so if we divide it into three equal portions each will get two steps on the left hand side because initially they were minus six so the, after two steps we reach minus two so the answer is minus two minus six divided by three will get minus two as the answer now let us take one more example it says minus five so we'll again move in the left hand side on the left hand side we'll move from zero one two three four five steps so we reached at minus five now we have to divide this by minus one so we we have five steps on the left hand side of zero so but we have to divide this from and there's a minus sign minus sign means these many steps we have to reverse the direction so when we reverse the direction so we get five steps one two three four five steps on the right hand side of zero so we get five steps on the right hand side of zero and we divide it into one equal portion so these many five steps they are all in all in one portion so that means there's a one bucket and one bucket will get all these five steps so the answer we'll get is five steps on the right hand side of zero so one two three four five so we reached that five so the answer is five so five means positive five because there is no sign we are mentioning so it means positive five that means we are getting it on, on the right hand side because initially there was negative sign and again negative sign so because of this negative sign we reverse the direction of these five steps to the right hand side and this is how division happens with the help of number line now 
will compare the integers on the number line so let us start from this it says it is comparing the this and this so we have to compare this and this so now what does it say it says 5 so that means we will start from 0 and do 5 goes 5 steps on the right side since it is positive 1 2 3 4 5 steps we reach till 5 now we have to add add means we have to again go in the right direction how many steps we have to add three steps so from five three steps one two three so till where did we reach we reached over here till eight so that means five plus three is eight and now this we'll see what we'll get seven it says seven so we'll move seven steps in the right direction one two three four five six seven so we reach till over here in this and it says minus one so minus one means minus means we'll move in the opposite direction that is on the left hand side will move and how many steps will go one step and how many steps will go we'll go one steps we'll go one step in on the left direction so from seven we'll move one step that is we reach till over here that is six so in this case we reach till six so we have over here we have eight and over here we have six so since eight is on the right direction and we have already discussed that whichever number is on the right side on the number line is greater so this eight is greater than six so this number 5 plus 3 is greater than 7 minus 1. So now let us see the second one. It says we have to compare the two numbers. 4 more than minus 2 and 2 less than 3. So this says 4 more than minus 2. So we are at minus 2. So from 0 will take minus 2 steps. That is on the left hand side will take 2 steps. And we reach till over here. That is minus 2. From minus 2, we have to increase 4 more. So, 4 more steps than minus 2. After reaching minus 2, we have to take 4 more steps. And since no sign is there, it means positive. So, for positive, we will move in the right direction. So, and from where? From, we will move from minus 2. So, we are over here at minus 2. We will move 4 more steps. 1, 2, 3. 3 4 so we reach till 2 so this means the result of this 4 more than minus 2 gives 2 as answer and now we'll see over here 2 less than 3 so initially we have to take 3 steps from 0 in the right direction since it is positive so 1 2 3 so we reach till 3 over here and now we have to take 2 less than 3. So that means 2 less. Less means on the oppose, in the opposite direction. That is on the, neg uh, on the left hand side. Less means it is becoming less or we are removing something. When we remove it is a negative sign. And so we have to move in the left hand side. So 2 less steps from over 3. We reached till 3 from earlier. So 1 step. 2 step so 2 step less than 3 we reach till 1 so this gives as answer 1 so since 2 is on the right side on the number line of 1 so this 2 is greater than 1 so that means 4 more than minus 2 this is greater than 2 less than 3 so this is how we compare the compare the integers on the number line so now let us see what all we have discussed in this video earlier we did natural and whole numbers along with integers integers we saw there are positive integers and negative integers and there's zero also and we also saw the concept of successor and predecessor 3 is a successor of 2 because after 2 comes 3 one step ahead so this is a successor and for before 4 comes 3 so 3 is the predecessor of 4 so this is a concept we discussed we discussed the ordering of integers on the number line and how to move one step 
at a time then we saw the addition on the number line how it happens additive and additive inverse we discuss additive inverse is a number suppose if we have 5 over here so for 5 additive inverse would be minus 5 because when we add minus 5 and 5 it gives 0 so a number which gives 0 when added into a particular number is the additive inverse of that number so for 5 the additive inverse is minus 5 and similarly for others then we saw subtraction and thereafter multiplication on the number line we also saw addition and multiplication of more than two integers how does it happen and then division on the number line and in the last we compare the integer using the number line so the these concept we discuss in this video